5.30, a grieving mother opens up about her fight for justice weeks after her daughter was killed. Brianna Brown was shot in the Clifton Heights neighborhood almost two months later, and no one has been arrested for the crime. WLKY's Jamie Mays talked with Brown's mother, who is now pleading with everyone to put down the guns. I feel like somebody literally yanked out a piece of my heart that I could never get back. Keisha Brown Ricketts says weeks after her daughter Brianna Brown was killed, she's still heartbroken. Brown Ricketts says her daughter was also a loving sister, and those who knew her affectionately called her chubby. She pretty much, she didn't meet a stranger. Everywhere she went, she always found a friend somewhere. But on May 26, 30-year-old Brown was found dead on Country Club Road in the Clifton Heights neighborhood. Police say when they got here to the scene, Brown and another man had both been shot multiple times. The man was rushed to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, but Brown didn't survive. And I guess sir, and they had it taped off. And all I could see is my baby laying there in front of her door, and they had her covered up, and they wouldn't let me get to her. They wouldn't let me see her, and she was just laying there. We reached out to Louisville Metro Police Department to get an update on the case. They say all parties have been accounted for, and the case will be presented to a grand jury in the coming weeks to determine if anyone will face charges. Brown Ricketts says she's still hoping for answers as to what led up to her daughter's death. I still don't know anything. I just, all I know is that my baby's gone. She's urging the community to put the guns down and choose peace. They don't realize, you know, you might think that you've done something because you killed someone, but what they're not realizing is what they've done to their family of the person that they killed. I just pray, let's learn how to talk, you know, do things the right way instead of automatically hopping to gun violence. Jamie Mays, WLKY News.